Hello all, this video is on getting data from web page using GSM SIM 900's HTTP request facility. Here I wish to retrieve my blog's status hits using GSM SIM 900. For this we have to create an API link using thingspeak.com. Open your thingspeak.com account and then click on apps. Scroll down to select the thing HTTP. Now click on new thing HTTP. Provide a name to the new uh, thing HTTP. Under URL, provide the website address from where you want the data from. Method is get and version is 1.1 other fields you need not uh, enter under the pass string field you have to provide the x path of the data to be retrieved for this go to the website where you want the data from and right click on the data and click inspect then right click on the highlighted data and then uh, click on copy x path paste this x path uh, link into the parse string in the thing speak and then click on save Now an API link is generated. If you copy this link and uh, paste in the browser, you get the data you wanted. The particular data for which we created the X path is displayed now on the browser. Now let us see how to achieve this using Arduino with GSM. The connections between Arduino and GSM are simple. Ground is connected to ground, TX is connected to RX and RX is connected to TX. Only three wires are required. A soft serial is used. Uh, here pins 7 and 8 are used as uh, soft serial RX and TX. A separate power adapter is required for the GSM. Now plug in the USB cable to PC and open the Arduino IDE. This is the code used here. Soft serial library is included and a new object MyGSM is created with RxTX pins declared at uh, pins 7 and 8. Under setup, the serial communication is started at uh, 9600 baud. The first AT command is uh, AT plus CG ATT equal to 1 which attaches GPRS to the network. The function print serial data is called to print the data available at soft serial pins on the serial monitor. This is called frequently to display the uh, data on the serial monitor. Next AT command is the bearer setting command AT plus SAPBR. The first parameter 3 is to set bearer parameter, second is status of bearer profile identifier, 1 means bearer is connected, third parameter is type of internet connection and fourth is GPRS, we are giving GPRS connection and next SAPBR uh, command is to give the access point name, here the empt empty string is used as access point name APN then AT plus SAPBR equal to 1 comma 1 enables the bearer settings of GPRS and APN. This AT plus HTTP INIT initializes the HTTP request. The next AT command is AT plus HTTP PARA which is used to provide the URL. 
the first parameter is uh, http client url and the second parameter is the api link address we created using thingspeak you can go to the thingspeak account and copy the api link generated and then paste it in the second parameter here remember to use http only and not https for https the at command is different the next at command is uh, at plus http action equal to 0 the parameter 0 represents http method get 1 means post method here we use get method so at plus http action equal to 0 the gsm responds with http status code and the data length read from the website page then http read is used to read the data click on upload to upload the code and then open the serial monitor at 9600 baud to watch the at commands in action after the get request is initialized using http action equal to 0 the gsm responds with the http action with 0 as get method 200 means ok and 12 bytes are read here if you get uh, 601 it means uh, network error then the data is read using http read command now the blog status hits is displayed on the serial monitor you can see from the actual uh, website the blog status hits is uh, read from the website and displayed on the serial monitor for step by step at command testing you can use the usb to ttl converter with the gsm when the TTL converter is plugged onto PC, a COM port is allotted. Open the serial software and then connect to this COM port at 9600 baud. You can tick mark the CR button to send carriage return. Now if, if you send AT, the GSM will respond with OK. You can store the AT commands using set macro function of this uh, serial software store the at commands one by one now you can click on the respective button m1 m2 to send the respective at commands you can also append uh, hex 0d for sending carriage return automatically Now clicking on the respective buttons M1, M2, the respective AT commands are sent and you can analyze each uh, AT command separately. Thank you for watching.